market may only be a friendly, but you spent a, a good bit of time in there with your players. What was the message that you going across to them? No, we knew it was a tough test. We knew it was a huge jump in quality in terms of of opponent uh, and their Premier League side, English Premier League side. Good players, well organised, worked really hard, and they made it difficult for us. Uh, and we've got to look at what we do, what we do well normally. We gave the ball away cheaply on occasions, dropped too deep on occasions, and didn't press together on occasions. But at the same time, lots of positives at the game as well. So. We've got to recognise that goals change games, there's no doubt about that. Was it a pen? I've looked at it five, six times. I can't see. I can't see how you give that. So, you know, and goals and a goal against them three minutes at home is difficult. But I thought, um, again, Andre Gray is a quality striker. He's a, he's a £15 million striker, there's no doubt about that. Plus, so he showed, his, he showed his pace, but we dropped too deep. Maybe show too much respect. But as I say, lots and lots of positives. We played with the ball well as, at times, didn't penetrate enough. I appreciate that. But we've got to look at the game and analyse, recognise who we're playing against, and uh, and step up basically. Yeah, you mentioned positives. Is it, is it perhaps in defeats like that, you learn most about your players. Absolutely, it's, it's all, you learn some every single game. We all learn together. It's not about the players, and it's all of us together. We've got to learn what can we do better in training, what can we organise better in training, what can we focus on in training. At the same time, what can we demand higher in terms of our environment and at the training ground. So you have to look every day, every day of every week, and get better. And, uh, and keep pushing, that's what we'll do. Fitness-wise and general preparation-wise, are you ready for the challenge of Hamilton next week yeah, now? We made it very, very clear that uh, to have the, the games we had prior to today were not of a high enough quality to really challenge us. But that's not, that's not a problem. We've worked really hard in training and our fitness levels, I think, are good. We made the changes on 65 minutes, wasn't it? on the hour actually done 65, and the guys came on and showed good energy. But the, the squad's in a good shape, in, in a good place in terms of fitness and energy. And uh, another four week now before Hamilton, which we're looking forward to a packed hard box. Um, but we have to be ready and deliver performance. And on Burnley, they looked a, a really smart out outfit. No, oh, yeah, they're a Premier League outfit. You know, they're Premier. They won the English Championship, which is an unbelievably tough division. They won it last year, deservedly so. Had a number of players in the team of the year, uh, and had a, Andre Gray. I think he scored 25 goals last year in the Championship. So they're a high quality outfit. But we've got to learn from those games. And obviously your defenders playing against the likes of Andre, Andre Gray and the, the rest of the attack is going to only be a good thing for them. Yeah, but that's the level. You know, that, that's the level. Andre Gray will cause lots of problems in the, in the Premier League this year for defenders. There's no doubt about that. But um, what we can do is look at the game today, recognise what we did well, what we could do better. And we can certainly compress the play better. But that's us as a team working on that and, and the communication improving. But as I say, there were also long passes of good play. And uh, at the end there, we had good chances for Tab, etc. They could have gone three up in the first half, hit the post, and we were loose, too deep, too spread. But we got better second half, and I thought, as I say, got better as the game went on. But we have to learn, simple as that. And just some further positives, your substitutes, particularly Michael O'Halloran and Jordan Rossiter, a couple of the other boys that came on did really well. No, they all came on, and um, they, for want of a more technical term, they had a go. They came on, and they looked at the scoreline at 3-0, and they had a go. Got the goal, 3-1, as I say, tap in the box, unlucky, great position, good ball over. But... Um, they had, they had a proper go, which was, which was good to see, but we've got to learn from that. It'll be a long discussion because you only learn by, um, by communicating.